Hi everyone, today I'm doing another walk around. Um, today I'm doing a walk around of the first of its kind on this channel. Today I'm doing a walk around of a 2003 LDV Convoy minibus. Now these minibuses were very popular in the 2000s for their low cost and high number of seats being 17 seater vehicles. They came in low roof and high roof but high roof was the most popular option by the looks of it. Now I think it's fairly evident that this vehicle is quite an old vehicle now. 2003 which is older than most minibuses driving around and this is why sadly this one is due to be scrapped uh, in not too much time. So there are various different features that make this minibus very unique or as, as a vehicle very unique. One of the biggest features which I like is its very high roof. Um, I can't, I don't know how to show you this, but it's, I'm fully standing up and there's still more room, which is not something I can say of every minibus. Now in the rear, um, it's carpeted. Obviously you've got a lot of things that don't work. So the lights don't work. Not sure about the speakers. I uh, wouldn't be able to vouch for them. Nice big rear windows, 16 passengers, no standing. And then a large fan, obviously. The seats are not the most comfortable. Um, I think you'll find that if anybody's been in these vehicles, they're fairly rough vehicles. Please excuse the helicopter. Unfortunately, something that's on the rise at the moment is vehicle theft. We were the victim of this not too many weeks ago for a much newer vehicle. Now, we use it on this vehicle ourselves, even though it's, it's very old and not probably not worth a lot. But um, it's worth getting at the moment if you have a more expensive vehicle because these really, really seem to love minibuses for some reason. In the front, you've got a very basic interior. If anybody can notice this gear stick, uh, it's actually the Ford Transit running gear, Duratorq running gear, and it's used on all of the Ford Transit Mark 6s. Um, same goes for the engine, actually. It's the same engine, um, only a little bit less powerful, so that's interesting. In the front, as I said, you've got a fairly basic interior. You have standard radio, which does work, but I will not demonstrate. You've got all the usual standard features, such as aircon, well, I say I constantly use the word aircon, but I do mean just fans. Um, you've got um, warning lights, forgetting what warning lights mean. <laughs> uh, lights for the rear, and of course, just a very basic speedometer, you know, with various engine warning lights that can show. Very big diesel fuel only, in case anybody's ca um, anybody might fill it up with petrol and of course as i mentioned you have the ford transit running gear very simple first second third fourth fifth and reverse no silly nothing lift to reverse or anything and uh yeah do excuse all the buses passing me this is a bit of a noisy area you do just have the standard wind up windows which are a bit of work, but accident, not accident prone like electric windows, which is good. So that was a tour of this 2003 LDV Convoy minibus. Um, it's going to be a shame to see these go. These are very rattly and they're bone shakers and they're noisy, but there's a lot of nostalgia that I link with them. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a shame to see them gradually phased off. But anyway, uh, usual, thank you for watching the video. If you want to see other minibus walkarounds, please feel free to browse my channel. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.